Hello and welcome to the CDW Performance Measures Dashboard Demonstration. Today, I'll be showing you how to access the CDW Performance Measures from the redesigned KCOJ website, and how to utilize the dashboard. The purpose of this dashboard is to share key points of data from the CDW program. Referred to as performance measures, these data points measure our most important outcomes, such as the number of complaints the program received, whether those complaints were handled through diversion, and the final outcomes of those diversions. The dashboard also explains these concepts and terms for those who may not be familiar with the program. First, let's look at how to navigate to the dashboard from the main web page. You'll click on the Court Programs tab and select the Department of Family and Juvenile Services. From the Family and Juvenile Services page, you'll see a link on the left side for the Performance Measures dashboard. Once you've reached the dashboard, you'll see an introductory page describing the purpose of the dashboard. At the bottom of each page, you'll see one or two buttons which can be used to navigate forward or backward through the presentation. Most pages will have a button on the left and one on the right. The right button navigates forward while the left button navigates backward. On many of the pages, you will see that one or more interactive features are available to you. Each page has instructions at the bottom of the screen explaining how to use the features on that particular page. Generally, you will be clicking on a particular selection from a list of options, which will change the information in the dashboard, allowing you to focus on a particular demographic breakdown or to change the level of detail on the chart. The explanatory text beneath certain dashboards may also include links to external web pages to better explain specific contacts or to connect you to supporting data. Many charts will have information in what is called a tooltip, which is a box with text and information that appears when hovering your mouse over a bar or point on a chart. This is valuable for seeing numbers or percentages which are not displayed due to the size of the chart elements. In some cases, you may wish to hide information on a chart which is not of interest to you. In those cases, you can exclude chart elements by clicking on them and then clicking the Exclude button that appears. No need to worry about making permanent changes to the chart. Anytime you wish to restore the chart to its natural state, you can simply click the revert button at the bottom left of the page. As you view the dashboard, you may see a chart which you would like to share with someone else, or that you'd like to print out to have a hard copy. This is where the share and download buttons at the bottom right come in handy. The share button generates a link to the specific chart which you can copy and send in an email. The download button allows you to download an image to your computer, either in the form of a PDF or as a PNG file. This concludes the review of the basic functions of the Performance Measures dashboard. But of course, you may have questions. Fortunately, the final page of the dashboard includes contact information for the Department of Family and Juvenile Services which you can utilize to send an email with any inquiries you may have about the dashboard. If the nature of your question is to request additional data, there is also a link available to the Research and Statistics Data Request Portal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope this will be helpful to you as you begin to explore CDW data using the Performance Measures Dashboard.